What's up guys, Auto Fanatics. So you guys have been asking me for this video for quite some time. These are the Auto Fanatic branded custom made Foamit Foamers. So before we dive in and I give you all the specs, is I want to make this video as comprehensive as possible. I really want to talk about Foamit and I'll show you guys the original unit that I worked with Foamit over four years ago developing the Auto Fanatic wheel cleaner. This is way before Auto Fanatic existed way before my YouTube channel. This was the brand that I initially sought out and this was the hardware that I was originally working with. So over here we have their F100 and their F5.0. So it's five liter. This is about almost a two gallon unit. This is about a one gallon unit. Uh, I'm gonna show you all the features, the specs, everything that's very special about these units and why they're high end and why I started to sell them now. Uh, it's really because of customer complaints and a lot of customers requesting a much better unit just that's just what people want so you know there's like a lot of varieties with cars there's a lot of good cars out there some people like BMW some people like AMG some people like Porsche it's really a matter of preference it's really a matter of what you like in life we have options so I'm giving you guys a really high-end option right now and I'm gonna go through all the features and specs but before we get started let's head over and look at the IK9 all right guys so I got two IK9s side by side one just the body of the tool one with a wand and hose this is one of my originals and I also have the original Fulmit unit. This was their original 5L that I started all the development of the Auto Fanatic wheel cleaning foam way before I started the brand, the YouTube channel, and everything. So this is the unit here, and I just have it here for demonstration purposes, just for visuals. So what happened with this particular unit, if you go back and see some of my earlier videos in 2018 when I started introducing the wheel cleaner, this is when we were still in development phases, this was the foamer that I used in all my videos. What ended up happening, this had a pump handle with a metal shaft, and it wasn't a very good design. So what would happen is if you pump it too fast, it was side-loading, breaking the seals. They were just having nothing but problems with this unit. What I loved about it, it has a built-in pressure gauge. Uh, it was very easy to pop a hole and put a straighter valve in there. It also had the wand. Remember all my videos, if you go back, it was all about the wand and getting into the barrel and all of that. Uh, that's why I love this unit so much. What ended up happening, they couldn't replace the parts they couldn't get parts they were phasing this unit out so what did I have to do so now the company that was making my hardware they phased the unit that I worked on all the development for out I went crazy trying to source a new unit I contacted Mesto in Germany I contacted a couple of other companies it just didn't work out because there was no USA representation that is how I ended up partnering up with IK we finished the development with the IK9 this is a proven solution readily available, awesome support from IK North America. And these have been very, very well for us. We sold a lot of these units, paired it with the Auto Fanatic wheel cleaning foam, but a lot of guys have had problems with this. A lot of guys have been complaining about this. And for the past nine months, people have been asking me for another solution. And that's why I'm gonna go over and show you the foam units today. So let's just get to this to the side. And a couple of things about the IK9, if you're a new user or first time watching one of my videos, is the way this unit works, I'll just discuss the construction. This is a two-piece unit. The canister's two-piece that's bonded together. Uh, there must be a, a bonded glue seam there as well. It has a pressure release valve, very similar to all of these. They don't put pressure gauges on some of these. They're just too expensive to do that. Now, the way this unit works, you could change the foam density, but you have to fully discharge the unit, which means you have to unscrew it completely, unscrew this little cap here, and then inside there you have different colored pickup tubes. This is a pickup tube that goes through the barrel all the way down into the bottom and this is how you change your foam density. On most of the professional units out of Germany and Italy, you change the foam density at the tip without depressurizing the unit. It's a totally different system. Uh, it just seems to be a little bit better uh, for more professional use. This does work great, but I can't even tell you how many customers have stripped this out. They cross-threaded it. They cause it to leak. Nothing but problems. So we have to eliminate that. Now, the IK9 also has a drain plug down here. There's a special little rubber grommet. I can't even tell you how many guys unscrew this, lost the grommet, had this thing leak all over the place. Another issue of complaints. Now, the pump assembly, no issues with that, but a lot of customers were saying that they're getting black plastic inside the reservoir from pumping it too fast. Not really sure what's going on with that, so we had to replace a bunch of those. Um, also, the footprint, you can see here. It's a little tipsy-topsy. It's, you really can only grab it from one location. It comes with a strap to put on your shoulder. I don't like it. I throw that thing right in the garbage. I don't recommend using the strap. It just, it just doesn't feel right. So the footprint, it's taller, it's skinnier. 
it's definitely easy to topple over. I've had a lot of customers topple these over, roll them downstairs, then they start to crack and leak at this seam. So that's another issue. Uh, you know, I put the Schrader valve in here, total nightmare to do. I hate doing it, but I do it for you guys because you're asking me to do it. Now, here's the unit here. This is the one that's fully functional. And the hose is good quality. It, it's not the softest and most pliable hose. The trigger is decent. It's not my favorite. You can see it's almost like a pesticide type of sprayer. It's got a metal handle that's kind of chrome or nickel plated. Uh, it's decent, but the wand is pretty good and it does its good job. Like I said, it gets into the axis of the barrel, no problem. There's white felt pucks that go in here that do get clogged over time from getting the, any kind of debris into the reservoir. It will come up through the stem and get into here, and then you just unscrew this and you change the pucks and you're good to go. So overall, I mean, the unit has been very effective for thousands and thousands of Auto Fanatic customers all over the world. It works, but there's a lot of things about it that I don't feel ergonomically and a couple of the mechanical things about it I just think could be better. And I do know that they're coming out with a new unit. And like I said, I do look forward to trying it out. But for the most part, those are the little things about the design that I personally don't love. Also, the storage of the wand is definitely a pain in the neck. When you go to carry it, this thing pops out. And it just is what it is. And the hose, uh, it's not very pliable. So it's very hard to wrap it around uh, the body of the, of the mechanism of the IK9. And uh, that's just been another complaint as well. But it works outstanding. It gives awesome foam density, awesome coverage, good volume. Everything is great, and the support is phenomenal. But that's the reason why I switched from the Foamit to the IK was because we needed a product to pair up with our wheel cleaner, and this has been very, very successful. But I'm taking a lot of the feedback and a lot of the complaints and a lot of the criticism. They said, we want another option. So that's what I'm going to show you guys right here. So let's move on. All right, guys. So we're going to first talk about the smaller Foamit. These are the 5Ls. It will come with a wand for all the customers that have bought it. You will get the wand. You will also get replacement felt pads, which is how you change the foam density. Now, we have two units here. This one's modified. This is also a new uh, prototype they're working on. Super high quality. Continental grade hose. This is like the best hose you're going to get. This is a new style trigger gun that we're working on right now. This is all CNC machined out of like Delrin. you got a locking mechanism right here. You can see that right there. You also have a stainless steel jet, okay? And the way you change the foam density, you unscrew this, you change the pucks, these yellow pads, it goes right into there. This is just a very, very, very professional unit. And also, one of the great things about this uh, 5L is the footprint. It's very low to the ground, it's got a wider base, and it's also able to be disassembled. What do I mean by that? This base unscrews. You could replace the canister without changing the whole unit. Now the coolest thing about this, and I'm going to show you now, so for a lot of the customers that have bought these already from my web store, this is the gun that you're pretty much going to receive. Now to change the foam density, you unscrew the cap, like I'm going to show you here. Now while it's still pressurized, you don't have to depressurize it, and then you could kind of add and subtract the yellow pads depending on the density that you want. Everything has green Viton seals super heavy duty now i personally don't like using this particular unit with the wand i don't know for some reason i just like the spray pattern and the dispersion of the trigger just like this and it just feels really good in your hands and i and i really really like it so i'm going to sh show you quick with a quick demo today on that on my car right in front of me so the cool thing about this is you can strap your hose and wrap it around both ends you have a, both locks on both sides for your wand depending on what kind of wand you got you could actually press the hose into here, keeps it in place. You got your pressure relief valve, similar to the IK9, right here. But this is the coolest thing about this unit. You simply unscrew the top, okay? You unscrew the top, and you could actually clean the unit out completely. See what I'm saying here? So now you have an optional little filtration screen on the pickup tube. You could decide to add that or remove it doesn't really matter but if you want to remove it you get more flow I suggest you remove it so the cool thing about this now that you can remove the top you can stick your hand completely into here you could clean out this unit without having any issues whatsoever you want to put a valve stick your hand in here pop a hole 10 seconds later your valve is installed in your foam it and it's done also it's got a cool little storage compartment down here with a little lid so if you wanted to you could take your little bag of pucks 
and you can stuff it in there for safe keeping and so you could change it on the fly, keep replacing parts on the fly. You could also put, um, you could buy a kit with the Viton seals. But to be honest with you, you're not going to break this at all. I don't see anybody breaking this unless you run it over with a truck. So it's got a very wide neck to fill it. The way I like to use it, not to make a mess, I fill it up with water. I pour the Auto Fanatic wheel cleaner in there. I screw the top back on there like this. I pressurize it and I go and do, and, and do my wheel cleaning. Then when you're done, you simply pull the pressure relief valve release the pressure and, and take it away. Now, if you don't want to take the top off, you simply just hold it and you, want, you, you wait for the pump handle to lock and you unscrew it, just like that. So the pump handle comes out, all Viton seals, very high quality pump. Also by design, it doesn't have a steel shaft, so you can't really side load it. It's got a channel that is grooved in here and it goes into the body of the pump. So as you do it, you're not going to have an issue of side loading. Also, another Viton flapper in there. So this is totally chemical resistance. The plastic quality, when you guys get these, it is super high quality. Just the way it's injected, molded, all the plastic is super high quality. And this type of plastic has incredible impact resistance. You're not going to crack this canister. You're not going to crack anything unless you do something really, really wrong. Also, they're branding it with the Auto Fanatic logo exclusively for me uh, because I asked them to. They're giving us a very high quality hose this is made in Italy it says it on the hose nice soft rubber it's got great memory so you can kind of wrap it around and store it no issues with storage as well and it just seems a hell of a lot easier to get this thing around the car also it's got holes down here that if you want you can make something a piece of plastic with some casters and you can put casters on this thing and you can wheel it around and that's something that you can't do with most foamers on the market you can't make them mobile like that so I think that's a great option, and I'm going to show you guys today uh, the foam density on my Alfa Romeo of using the 5L. Now let's get over to the, uh, the larger now, unit. This is the larger, the F100 unit. Now this is a very, very high-end unit. You can see it here. It's got the continental grade hose. You've got a built-in pressure gauge right there. You also have a specialized filtration system and a pressure relief uh, valve in here as well, so you cannot overcharge this. Stainless steel fitting, a male fitting. So you basically take your compressed air right from your chuck. Instead of having a straighter valve, this is much more reliable, much more safer. So now, if you have a 50-foot to 100-foot uh, air, air reel on a, on a hose, you could connect this, and you could bring this all around your shop or whatever. Uh, this, I really see a lot of my mobile detailer customers bought a bunch of these, and a lot of guys that just want to have the best will invest in something like this. It's a few hundred dollars, but the quality is the same as that, just jacked up with a larger reservoir, and then you have the built-in gauge. You also have all these fittings, this little guy here, and the stainless steel quick disconnect. You're also getting the very professional gun that I showed you on the other 5L that we're using right here today. So that's what's really cool about these units is that I could go to foam it and say, hey, you know what? I want to change something. I want to change the hose. I want to change the gun. I want to set this up with different packing for my particular product. And that's what's really cool about it. And that's really what I can't do working with other companies um, is like customization of the foamers for you guys so just want to show you guys these are the foamers you guys have been asking me forever to make a video on these units and this is the video today so what I'm gonna do now I'm gonna just move some stuff around I'm gonna uh, foam up one of my wheels on my Alfa Romeo Julia Quadrifoglio I've been running around all day I got track pads on the car and uh, I'm just gonna show you the uh, the spray pattern and how simple and easy it is to use load and all of that good stuff so let's get all set right, up so I just filled this up with some distilled water and some auto fanatic wheel cleaning foam. Put about six ounces in there, just because I have a couple of cars that I have to clean. And that's it, you just cinch it down, and then you just go through your pumping process conventionally, or in this particular unit, I'm gonna show you guys quick, we're just gonna charge it, and we're gonna foam away. Air chuck right here. You see the pressure relief valve? Once you start seeing the line where it goes from yellow to red, that's where you know you're done. We're not using the wand right now, so let's get over to the car, lower the tripod, and I'm going to show you guys the foam density right now. So, like I said in the beginning of the video, I don't really like to use the wand with this particular unit. I really just like this. It feels good in your hands. It's got a nice stubby uh, nozzle at the end. And the fact that, like I'll show you right now, I can unscrew this. This is fully pressurized right now. You're not going to get anything spitting all over your hands. So if you want to change the foam density, you do it right on the fly without depressurizing the unit. And that's one of the things that I really like about this. 
is just the versatility and giving us giving us that option. So here we go. Produces nice thick foam, and it also produces a very nice dispersion of the foam. And that's another thing that I really, really like about it. You guys can see that there. I'll just zoom in with the camera. You want to get in there, do your thing, and that's it. Just want to show you for demonstration purposes. So, the density of the foam is definitely different than the IK9, but you can see the brake dust right there. What I've noticed through testing, and this is why I like the foamant units, and I started with the foamant units, is the density of the foam that this thing produces. You guys got to see this. I mean, this is just unbelievable. Look at the brake dust that's coming off my wheels just for foaming it right there with no pre rinse. Okay, you see that right there? And my new wheels, uh, the refinish on this, this is matte black. And you guys can see that right there in the camera. What I learned along the way with all this stuff of developing the wheel cleaner is foam density. A lot of guys like dry, thick, fluffy foam, but that doesn't necessarily mean it's the best for cleaning. I'm all about cleaning. I'm all about effectiveness. I'm all about performance. So what I found from testing is that the foam unit, the density, just it just does it a little bit differently. Uh, than the IKs and the Mestos and a lot of the other units that I've used, it just gives a really good balance between the water, the cleaning solution, and the way it, it gets onto the surface as far as the dwell time and the wetting action and everything. It just works absolutely phenomenal. And that's the reason why I'm also carrying these in the web shop as well right now. So I'm going to switch this off. I'm going to just leave this here. I'm going to rinse this wheel down. I'm going to show you guys the larger unit. And then we're going to do the demonstration now on the F100, and I'm just going to go over a couple of the features that I showed you earlier. So as you see here, this is a continental grade hose. This is some of the best hose you're going to get. The hose length also is longer than any other foamer on the market that's done to our specification. You have stainless steel fittings at the hose right here. You have a stainless steel jet. You have a machine Delrin snout right here, which is where you change your pucks to change your foam density. Very high quality trigger gun with a built-in lock so if you store it you don't accidentally get foam all over the place keep it right here it's got the built-in pressure gauge this is proprietary to this unit so the way it works is here's your male stainless steel fitting that's going to connect directly to your air hose and then you have your on and off valve right here so let's just connect it and i'm going to charge it up right now you can hear it charging up so what's going to happen is my compressor now is set at 150 PSI. Based on the design of this system, you cannot overcharge the F100 by design. So it's a built-in safety protocol. You can't overcharge it. Pressure relief valve up here already popped, and we're in the proper PSI. Now we're ready to go. So you have the option when you're using this. You can either turn this off now that you charged it, or you could just leave this little valve open so what's going to happen is if you guys are going to do any kind of foaming of like your car, the, the painted surface like car wash soap, snow foam, you're going to use any of my soap or even wheel cleaner and you want to do a lot of work and you have a shop and you have a hundred foot hose like I got, you're going to be able to spray everything down infinitely to get two gallons of this solution down to the bottom without ever having to get an air chuck with a Schrader valve to constantly replenish the charge. That's what's really cool about this. That's why this is super, super professional the way it's designed. So let's just pull this back. We're going to keep it connected. So with this professional grade trigger and the stainless steel spray tip, you don't really need a wand and I'm going to show you why. Just give it a second for it to... You can see the foam density. It's very, very different. It's coming out with a greater charge than any of the other handheld pump units and even the other units that you could charge with a Schrader valve. And that's the reason why is because we have constant PSI going to the unit at all times. So it's never going to drop and you're never going to start foaming something and then it's going to start spitting and you're going to lose pressure. It's not going to do it with this system. And that's why this is super, super awesome. And you can see what it's doing there. 
And the foam density, it's like I said, it's between a mid-grade of wet and dry, and it just seems to work outstanding with the Auto Fanatic wheel cleaner as far as giving incredible cleaning action, like you can see there, and the foam runoff. And that's what we want. You know, like dense, dry foam looks cool, but to be honest with you, it doesn't offer the best cleaning action. And that's not really what we're going for. We want to get the best performance, and then that's why we're offering the foam it, fo Professional Foamers exclusively in the Auto Fanatic web store. You can just see it here. And if you want thicker foam, all you do is you unscrew this right here, you add another one of those yellow felt pads, and you're good to go. So, before we wrap up this video, I'm going to show you guys one more important aspect of these Foamit foamers, especially the Foamit 5.0, and why I think it's going to be a very, very smart choice for a lot of you guys, especially mobile detailers or anyone that's going to go on the road to do any kind of detailing work for your customers, friend, family, friends, or that's your particular business. So let's get over to the uh, other car right, right now. Alright guys, so one other thing I really want to talk to you guys about because I do a lot of stuff mobile, I have to go on site and do demonstrations of my wheel cleaner. And this is why I originally purchased the Kranza 1322 because I could put this in the trunk of any of my cars. I cannot put the 1122 in there. It's too big, too hard to carry around. So I go with my pr pressure washer, I go with my foamant, I could tuck that in into my Mustang, I got my gun. Unfortunately, the IK9 I cannot get this into my car and if I was to put it sideways it will leak all over the place. I also don't like to keep something like this in the front of my car in case of a collision or something like that. This just could be a safety hazard of going airborne uh, and that's just something else to consider. So based on that, like I said, the footprint of the foam it just seems to make a lot of sense and I think it's going to make a lot of sense for a lot of you guys uh, that do mobile detailing. Maybe you guys don't have a van. Maybe you guys don't have a truck and you just want to go with your own personal car to go to a customer's home, dealership, or whatever. And you can just see that right there. It perfectly tucks into the back of my cars. No problem whatsoever. So just wanted to show you guys something like that. That's just something that I think about. And that was also another very important aspect of my decision to start carrying these units again and offering them to you guys right now. So let's just get this video finished up. Right. Hope you guys uh, liked this video. You guys have been asking me for, for a while. Also, thanks for taking the time to sit through the whole video and go over all the differences between all the units. And it's really cool to see this was the original unit that I started with and the progression into these two awesome professional units that I have here today. So these are offered in my web store. I'm selling them at a discount because I want to get these things out to you guys. I want to try to get, you know, 500 to 1,000 of them out there and uh, get some more feedback. And like I said, we're still tweaking them. We're still playing around with different uh, triggers, hose lengths, all kinds of cool features. So please set your notifications for a next Auto Fanatic video. Please like, subscribe, and share, and stay tuned for more automotive content. And please visit auto-fanatic.com and place your order for a foam with foamer and some Auto Fanatic professional wheel cleaning foam today. And I'll see you guys on the next video.